these are the tools that I'm going to be using today to calibrate the uh, micrometer. This is a uh, um, plastic handle screwdriver, it's kind of large. Believe it or not, we're going to be using it as a uh, as a hammer. A small Phillips screwdriver, a small uh, standard straight blade uh, screwdriver, the little wrench that came with the micrometer, and also the three inch standard. You can optionally use uh, a micrometer stand. That will make your life a little easier. Alright, let's, uh, let's start off by seeing how miscalibrated this micrometer is using the 3 inch standard. Let's close up on it and Okay, there's our reading. Zoom in on that. There, you can see it. 3.0045. Not very good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to align the datum line on the barrel so that it is not so straight up and down. What we'd like to have it is right about there in line, almost in line with the digits. So that makes it a lot easier to read the micrometer. Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn this barrel, I'm going to turn it clockwise. The reason for that is that, see this little uh, black part here? If I turn it counterclockwise, this is going to come apart from the, uh, from the frame, and I don't want that to happen. I don't need more work for myself. So, I'm going to bring the datum line in line right about here we go right about there let's see if I can get a close up for you alright the next step is I'm going to take this screwdriver with the plastic handle and also this little wrench and remove the thimble. Okay, here we go. Give it a few little taps. Don't go nuts with it. And it should come right off. What you have is a little taper over here and a taper in, in this part. Okay, now I'm going to put the standard back in. Alright, interrupted by phone. Okay, here we go. Let's do this again. All right, get set the standard. Get it as close as you can. This is all feel here. You don't want to tighten it down too tight. Okay, this this feels pretty good. And then I'll tighten down the spindle. And then with the zero. Align it with the uh, datum, datum line. Now you want to push it onto the uh, onto the uh, taper. You don't want that to move. 
and put the uh, ratchet back in. Make sure the washer lines up. <clears throat> Hold the thimble and then tighten down the ratchet. Hopefully I have it right. That's right on. Let me see if we can get you give you a shot of that. There you go. Okay, now, next part is we're going to remove the glass or the uh, this little magnifier from the uh, from the micrometer and adjust the numbers. Okay, here we're gonna. I'm gonna remove the uh, this little magnifier. It's only got two screws holding it. It's one. Okay, you'll notice there's a slot holding this fixture, the digits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up. There's two screws that's holding it. And then lower it. That should disengage the gears. See, they don't turn. Put the standard back in. Get it zeroed. Okay, I'll lock down the spindle. And now, with a little flat blade screwdriver, I turn the top top gear until it goes to three. Three point zero zero zero. Okay, and then set her back up. Hold it in place. Let's see how she works. Oh, I don't have the gears. I don't have the gears in place. Hold on.
Okay. There she is. Put the little, uh, little magnifier on and see if it lines up properly within the window. There it is. This is lined up. Zero. And it shows 3.000. All that's left to do now is to put the screws back in. When you screw this down, don't screw it down tight. This plastic will crack. And I believe that Fowler is made in as an import. Okay, let's give it a shot. There it is. 3.000 and this is all lined up. It shows a zero. And that's how I calibrate a digital mechanical digital micrometer. Thanks for watching.